Hi everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History channel, hope you're all well. Tonight I'm going to be bringing you my round 14 tips for the 2021 NRL Telstra Premiership. This week of course is Origin Week so a lot of these tips are going to be affected by the Origin game, who's going to recover from the Origin games, who's going to maybe decide to rest themselves and sit out a week. Um, it remains to be seen but tonight I'm going to be bringing you these tips. Last week we only had the four games, this week it's a full round. So let's start with the first game. There's no Thursday match, this one is Friday. The first game is on the Friday and it's between Manly Moringa and North Queensland. This one's at Brookvale Oval. So for Manly, they'll be having um, Tom Trevojevic, Jake Trevojevic coming back to the camp hopefully and Dealey Cherry Evans as well but if they do sit out this match they've got a couple of other players coming back in as well for North Queensland they have a couple of representatives for the um, seed of origin but for most of the squad they're not involved so they'll be fit and raring to go for this game down at Brookfield Oval uh, Man may have been travelling quite well up until when they lost against Newcastle North Queensland uh, they're one of those sides where they're a bit hard to get a read on. Obviously, they had a really bad start of the year and they've picked themselves up a bit. And um, this is going to be a really tight game to call. For these tips, I'm going to tip who I think is going to win if they have their origin players back. So in this case, I'm going to go for Manly Moringa to win 1-12. But of course, if Tom Trevojevic and Jake Trevojevic and the like don't come back for the, for the game on the Friday... I would more than likely probably go for North Queensland, but for this game, I'm going to go for Manly 1-12. The main game on the Friday sees Cronulla Sutherland up against Penrith. This one's being played in neutral territory at Cogra Oval. Cronulla uh, have been travelling a little bit better over the last couple of weeks. Ever since they sacked John Morris, they seem to have been going a bit downhill, but the last couple of weeks, they've been showing a, a little bit of character. Um, they had that win over the Gold Coast at Coffs Harbour, which was quite a good win. For Penrith, they had their first loss since the 2020 NRL Grand Final. Um, they, they did have seven players out. It remains to be seen who's going to actually return for Penrith on um, on Friday. Maybe the likes of Nathan Cleary, Jerome Luai, they might choose to sit out the match because they might be a bit sore from the game on the Wednesday. Uh, Kunule have lost their last four matches against Penrith. So that's a bit of a stat for you. Penrith, in more recent times, have had the wood over Cronulla. For this game, I'm going to go for Penrith to win 1-12. That, of course, is if their players are going to be back on deck. If not, I'm still going to tip Penrith. I think even with a lot of their players out, Penrith is still a class side. On the Saturday, the first game sees the Gold Coast up against Sydney Roosters aka East. This one's being played at the Seabull Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. Uh, the Gold Coast had a loss, a narrow loss against Melbourne last week. Eastern Suburbs had the bye, but they've been travelling quite well. They had that great win over Cambrai. And even with all their players out, they're still a, a class outfit. They're, they're still a good side. And they've been showing a lot of character over the last couple of weeks with, with all these injuries and all these setbacks that they've had. A stat for this game for you is that Eastern Suburbs have won the last six encounters against the Gold Coast. So East certainly love playing against the Gold Coast. It doesn't matter where they, where they, uh, where they are. They just like playing against them. For this game, I'm going to go for East to win 1-12. I think they're going to be too good for the Gold Coast. And I think that um, some of the, the players for both sides will be back for this game from, from the orange, origin. So it'll, it'll be a good match. The next game on the Super Saturday sees South Sydney up against Newcastle. This one's being played at Stadium Australia. So for Newcastle, they had that really disappointing loss against Parramatta last week. It was the old boys' day. It was the 20-year anniversary celebration of them beating Parramatta. They thought that they were going to rub Parramatta's noses in it, but it turned out to be the other way around. For South, they had the bye, but they've been travelling and all right this year that they I mean they've had those big losses against Penrith and Melbourne but besides that they've been all right um, South Sydney have got a, a lot of players out potentially for this game due to the state of origin uh, the last time that 
Newcastle and South played. It was at this ground. And Newcastle were beat 46 points to 20 in the elimination final. After after starting off quite well, South Sydney come back in that game. For this match, I'm going to go for South Sydney to win 1-12. I think that Newcastle will put in a better performance than they did against Parramatta. But I think South will be just too good for Newcastle on the Saturday. And the final game to close out Super Saturday sees Canberra up against Brisbane. This one's at GIO Stadium in Canberra. Uh, Brisbane um, got flogged last week against St George. It wasn't a good look for them. Canberra, they're in a bit of a crisis at the moment, but they have had the bye. They have had some time to maybe reflect and maybe get the, the house back in order again. Um, since 2010, Brisbane's only won four times down in Canberra. So it's not exactly a place that they like to go and play. I'm going to go for Canberra to win this match, 1-12. I think that's... Um, Brisbane, as I've said in the past, they were sad that one week they can show up and really trouble sides. Another week, they capitulate. I think on this occasion, they're, they're going to capitulate against Canberra and I'm going to go for Canberra to win. The first game on the Sunday sees New Zealand up against Melbourne. This one's being played... At neutral territory, at the central coast there, Melbourne had the play last week. They had the narrow win over the Gold Coast. For New Zealand, they had the bye. Melbourne's got a couple of players that will be potentially retaining for this match on the Sunday. I'm going to go for Melbourne to win 13+. plus. I think they're going to be too good for New Zealand. Melbourne are not unbeatable. They're not untouchable, but... I think the likes of New Zealand won't trouble um, Melbourne, so I'm going to go for New Zealand uh, to lose this game and for Melbourne to win on the Sunday. And the final game to close out this round, and potentially probably one of the games of the round, is Parramatta up against West Tigers. This one's being played at the Western Sydney Stadium, also known as Bank West Stadium. For Parramatta, they're going to be without Reid Marnie, I think, for two weeks. He did, I think, a slight sort of pectoral injury or a little bit of a... He might have a bit of bruising there. Um, but they've got Joey Lusick coming in to fill in. West Tigers, they've only got the one representative for the state of origin, and that's Joe Offer and Gowie. So there's a chance that he'll probably retain for the Sunder. Uh, West Tigers have been playing all right over the last couple of weeks. Parramatta retained the form over Newcastle. It was a great win. Um, they should be very pleased with their efforts. Parramatta um, have only lost twice to West Tigers um, since 2015. So Parramatta is a bit of a bogey side for West Tigers, you could say. Um, and I think Parramatta will uh, get the victory over West Tigers. I'm going to go for Parramatta to win this game 1-12. It's going to be a tough game. I think both sides are going to really go at each other. But I think Parramatta is just going to have a little bit too much of West Tigers. And the final game for the round. Did I, did I see final game for the round for Parramatta and West Tigers? Because the actual the final game of the round is between Canary Bankstown and St George. This one's on the Monday. Not very often that we get Monday games anymore. This one's being played at Stadium Australia. Now this game is a rivalry game. Canterbury and St George have a history that goes all the way back to 1935. They don't like each other. Played each other in lots of big games, finals games, grand finals. Um, this is a game that both sides always look on the calendar and always show up for. Um, in the last couple of encounters, though, St George, they've won four of the last five games against Canterbury. So they're a bit of a bogey side at the moment for Canterbury. Um, Canterbury, they're dead last. They've only won one game this year. That was against Cronulla. And they, they weren't even really that convincing then. Um, St George retained the form against Brisbane. They look quite good. I'm going to go for St George to win. I think they're going to win 13+. plus. Um, if they play any, any way like they did against Brisbane, they'll rack up a bit of a score against Canterbury. And um, I think Canterbury is going to be rooted to the table for another week with just a one win. Anyway, that's me tips for round 14 of the 2021 NRL Telstra Premiership. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know your tips for round 14 of this competition. Anyway, this is Ruby League History signing off. And I'll catch us all later in the next video.
I'll race, tell you by now. <laughs>